Hey guys, John here, Metal Detector South Africa. Very, very excited. Uh, Mark is with us today and he's brought us to a permission. So thanks Mark for allowing us to come dig with you. So Mark's new to the hobby. I think today is his second time out, uh, not really hunting, but we went park hunting with him uh, a week ago and now it's its first, first really hunt. Yeah. So yeah, thank you. Something different today, we are, I'm out with the Equinox 800 and I'll explain why, keep watching, because uh, yeah, you'd have seen in all my videos, I'm a Nocta guy and, a, and an XP guy, so you're probably wondering what am I doing with the Equinox 800, but keep watching, I'll explain. So we're gonna be doing live digs today. Um, we're in an area where uh, we know that there's really old relics, Fort Checker relics, Boer War relics. Um, no one's been onto this property before, so we're really excited, keep watching. We'll show you those live digs. Cool. Cool, let's do it. Yeah, so I'm not used to the Equinox. The last time I used it was probably three or four years ago. If you look on our channel, yeah, you'll see the last one I did was at a, at a tidal pool and I've forgotten everything. So I know, if I remember correctly, the 20 range is, is sort of your sweet spot for the coins and, and that. So um, yeah, it's not a technical video or a comparison video you know, on the Nox, not gonna be doing that, um, but I'll explain later. Solid. Solid 16, solid 15. Let's see what that is. Okay, got something interesting. You won't believe it. My first relic thimble. Look at that. How cool is that in such good condition? I don't know if it's silver or not. Uh, probably not. It's got green patina on there. I'm not going to clean it up. I don't want to damage this. Yeah, whereas this would have been somebody's house. Maybe these stones that we saw earlier would have been the foundations of a house and the lady would have been sewing here. And this is a thimble. So very, very personal. Shows again, sign of the times. We are digging in a place of history Right era, right here. Really cool, I'm so chuffed with this. My first, well, it is my first real relic of a thimble. How cool is that? Uh, lead ball. Pretty cool, eh? What you got? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Mark, I reckon you've got yourself a shrapnel ball. Too small to be a musket ball, and like you say, too big to be a bird shot. Yeah. It's all it can be. Nice one. So we're on the right spot here. Yeah. Cool, well done, dude. Cheers. All right, guys, I'm on another good signal here. 20s, 1920. Just give that a go. Ah, oh, we got a coin. Come and check this out. Let's have a look. It's in there. It's not a big coin. Uh, it doesn't look like a modern coin because it's not silver, but it could be. Ooh, this is old. I'm gonna come into the sun here. I thought it could be a, a modern one cent coin, but this is so thin. Look how thin that is, extremely thin. I'm assuming it's a coin. I don't want to 
scratches. I see some writing coming through there. Could be a token. Yeah, so this side's definitely got some imaging. Uh, I'm going to give that a clean and show you guys. Give me two seconds. Given this a, a slight, slight clean up, see if the camera can zoom in there. You'll see it says 787, it's not something I recognize. Uh, I don't want to scratch it up too much, so I'm going to leave it like that for now. And nothing on the back that I can make out. Loving it, it's a good day's hunting. Super cool. Let's find some more good stuff, eh? That's 28. 30. All right, let's have it. Let's see what we get. 30s, high 20s. What is that? I think it's out actually. Come on, let this be something good. Mark's two up. I'm one down. Oh, we have a coin, guys. It's not modern. I mean, it is modern, it's not old. But we've got a coin, nevertheless. That was, yeah, high 30s. Modern one rand coin. I think that's 1999. I just want to check again. I'm trying to figure out the, the knocks. Yeah, so a lot of you guys are probably wondering what's he doing with the knocks? Yeah, I've, I'm an avid Nocta macro fan, as you can see. I enjoy hunting with the XP Deus. Um, I'm also a distributor in South Africa for Nocta Macro and, X and XP. Uh, what am I doing with the Nox? Well, um, Nocta will be bringing out a multi-frequency metal detector very, very soon. Yeah, year 2021, before the end of the year, they're saying they'll bring that multi-frequency out. So I want to be able to make my own judgment. Um, so I want to get familiar with the Equinox 800 which is also a multi-frequency machine. I want to get to know the machine again. I used it about three years ago. I haven't uh, used it since. Um, so I want to get really familiar with it so that when that multi-frequency does come out, I can form my own opinion. You know, is it, does it stack up to the Knox 800? Um, if not, where is it lacking? If it's better, which features are better? And vice versa, so that I can be able to relay that to my customers, give an honest opinion, um, and be able to talk from experience. So that's the reason why I'm using the Nox 800 today and I'll probably be using it for a while longer as I really want to get to know the machine. There we go. Another, another ball. Lead ball. That's awesome, man. Eh? Check it out. Looks like it got gaffed on something here. It's got a nice little dent in there. Oh. That's awesome. Oh, it is a lot bigger than this one. Hmm. So I reckon this is probably a musket ball. But it's too far gone to see the seam. Yeah. Nice, your second one for the day. Yeah. Simplex is rocking those musket balls. So hitting them up. But they'd also come in 50s, 60s. Uh, 46. 46. Cool. Bullet. See that? Fired, fired round. Gonna have to get the brush and get a. I can see a, a to roll laboratories, but I can't see. I can't see a year yet. Nice. Right guys, so end of a lacquer hunt. Mark, thanks for inviting us onto your permission. It was uh, good. Been lacquer. Thanks yeah, for coming it was, out. It was good yeah, fun. Thanks for loaning me the machine for the day. So yeah, all lacquer. good. Yeah, so Mark was running with the Simplex and uh, at one point he was two up 
<laughs> I was on one. So he got himself two bullet casings. One was a blank and, and one was a fired proper bullet casing a Mark II, so they're nice and old. Uh, also a shrapnel ball and a musket ball. We think that's what it was, it's on the video. Uh, I got myself a nice thimble, really good condition. And I got a token and I just off camera, <laughs> while the guys were packing up, I got myself a little button as well. So uh, that was a really nice one. That was a happy ending. So yeah. guys, thanks for watching and we'll definitely be out here again if Mark invites us. Uh, <laughs> hint, uh, hint, hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> thanks guys. Happy hunting. John and Mark here from Somerset West Cape Town. Check you guys in the next video.